back to the NCAA tournament in his first year in Raleigh, he has a chance to do it again. Kevin Keats is a terrific coach, and he is building a program. He inherited a tough situation with the NCAA, but right now he's got this team poised to have a chance to win and get into the NCAA tournament. It's going to be a very rough week for the Wolfpack because they take on Duke tonight, then they get number eight FSU over the weekend. As that is poked out of bounds by the Blue Devils. B.O.B., these are two huge games because in the ACC this year, there are three teams that can help you get a legitimate quad one win. Duke, Louisville, and Florida State, they got two to three this week at home. Bates with a handoff, a little bit of a stumble there by Daniels, but he gets the one-hander to go regardless. We take a look at tonight's starting lineups. They're brought to you by t Roll Price. Jones, Goldwire, Stanley Hurt, and Kerry Jr. for the Blue Devils. They come in averaging 83 points a game. Coach K doesn't think they're a great shooting team. Hurt misfiring on the first one. Thinks they're a good shooting team. Not great yet. Here's Daniels on the attack. Great defense, but up and in by Bryce. That's about as good as it gets for NC State to start attacking the basket, beating Duke down the floor, playing ahead of that Duke defense. Jones. He stumbles, gets it back, swatted away by the number one shot blocker in the ACC, Manny Bates. 6'11 freshman with great timing. Manny Bates is like a human backboard. He's so alert off the basketball, has great anticipation. He needs to play well today to protect the rim and defend Vernon Carey. The focal point of their defensive game plan, NC State, they've got to defend Carey. They've got to take care of the basketball. Can't turn it over so they can set their defense. Thunderbird with the foul, putting Jones at the line. You know, Bates accounts for about 60% of the Wolfpack's team rejections. They happen to be facing the number one shot blocking team in the ACC. Trey Jones, 74%, hits that one. Last guy that had that type of shot blocking ability. Spot. Pretty good player. Not too shabby. He had a pretty good career. Sure did. Whistle and a foul right on the side. And it'll go against Matthew Hurt. 6'9 freshman picks up number one. NC State coming in at 16 and 9, 7-7 seven seven in the ACC. Just dropped a tough one on the road to Boston College, 71 to 68. And that's got to be in the rearview mirror. This is the opportunity in front of them. Right now, they're looking at basically a three-week season to earn an opportunity to play in the NCAA tournament. They got to move the ball, move people, and then get paid touches. Markel Johnson. Price with a turnaround. He's been their hot hand the last several games. Duke looking to push that tempo. Duke plays with great space in four round one. Good pressure on the basketball, which is forces that turnover. And Bryce has it. The 6'5 senior hits about 36% from three. They're not a good three-point shooting team, but he's respectable. Johnson. Oh, that's a pretty play to lay it up and in on the drive. The state's gonna win this day game. They're an older team. Their seniors have to step up and play well. This is a seniors game today. C.J. Bryce, Markel Johnson, those guys need to step up and put their arms around this game for State. Gary putting that head down, tough drive to go. And a whistle with 17.49 to go here in the first half. And a foul to go against Duke, and Hurt picks up his second quick one. The one thing about this new team this year, though, is years past, they played seven guys. There'd be a front court sub, there'd be a perimeter sub. Now, Coach K, they're playing 10 guys, 13 minutes or more. That's incredible when you think about Duke basketball. And much deeper than in past years. Tipped away by White, but controlled by the Wolfback. Johnson, he's the number two assist man in the league, just behind Trey Jones. Shot clock down to seven. Daniels with the left hand, yes. Now Devin Daniels comes in averaging about 12, but some big performances like the 23 he had against Syracuse. 
And you see NC State, they're putting Vernon Carey in a lot of ball screens. They think the best way to defend him is to get him in foul trouble and make him go. Pulled right to an arm with a triple. NC State with an excellent start on top eight to one. Daniel slamming on the brakes. He's going to shoot it anyway. Got it. He has six. That's a bad shot and a good shot. Early in the clock, the ball didn't move. The defense didn't move. But a big time shot right there for Daniel. And they have the crowd alive. The Wolfpack with a 10 to 1 advantage right out of the gate. White looking for some help. Jones with a little far away. Rebounded away by Carey, right back up. He'll draw the foul, and he'll be at the line to shoot two. When you think about Duke this year, you think about terrific defense, pressure on the ball, keeping it in the perimeter, but right here, Trey Jones beat off the dribble. They attacked the big. They're going to go right at Vernon Carey at the rim, and then in the ball screen, terrific job. Daniels using his body and getting to the finish. Look for Kevin Keats to put Vernon Carey in ball screens and then attack him on the bounce and both reversals. He feels if he can get Carey out of the game, obviously, huge advantage. The tempo and the pace of this game right now is in NC State's favor. They haven't turned it over. They've done a pretty good job of keeping Duke off the glass. And right now, they're playing downhill. They're not settling to be a jump shooting team. Hitting the shots, too. Five out of seven. That's always a good thing. In and out of the second one by Vernon Carey. Eight-point lead for the Wolfpack. Looking confident early. Duke a little shaky. That one doesn't shot. touch a thing. Bad shot by Bryce. Comes in averaging 14 and averaging 19 a game over his last three. He's really been shooting the ball much better than that. Yeah, he had two back-to-back -back games. But when he came back from his concussion, he did not score. He's back in rhythm. They can't just play on emotion. They've got to get a good possession every single time down the floor. Spin. Rebound tips. Wolfpack wants to run. Daniels on the line of the three will not shoot it. He backs it out and sets it up. Now drives again and he draws contact. No shot the way NC State has played against Duke here in the past. They've had some big wins against the Blue Devils on this floor. Off to a nice start on top. 10 to 2. I mean, I don't know. I think the guy that's producing this thing is trying to trash me right now. I don't know. Maybe because he didn't want to come to Columbia to play for us. <laughs> Sorry, man, Kim Belt. Pretty fair player in his day at Stanford. A terrific start here for the Wolfpack. Yeah, Kevin Keats is going to approach this game in four minute segments, time after time out. We're going to look at this game in five minute segments so you can follow it. So, segment number one right now. NC State's exactly where they want to be. What they want to do is compartmentalize the game, play five minutes at a time, play at a high level, defend and compete, wipe the slate clean, and get to the next five minutes. Biggest lead in the early going. Up by 10, right down the lane. Moore, nobody stopped him. Bill Moore, the 6'6 freshman, averaging seven points, four rebounds a game. Maybe it was one game. Wendell Moore playing. They're a different team with him. He's a terrific defender. Gets out in transition. Braxton Beverly, one of the few guys you're going to see off the bench for NC State. It's a very short bench. Underbrook went for the hook. He's denied. Okay. Early post action went right at Vernon Carey. He's got to take that shot fake and get him to his body. Right back up top for Moore. I grew up watching. Duke Carolina is a youngster in Charlotte, and of course, had that buzzer beating tip in against Carolina and a turnover. That's their second. Let's look at the first five minutes. First five minutes, 12 for NC State. And the whole key right now is the defense. They did a terrific job of keeping Duke on the perimeter. They took them out of transition. They didn't turn the basketball over. And by the way, when you go five for nine, life is good. Good coach, bad coach. Johnson, one of the top point guards, not just in the ACC, but in the country. Led the ACC in assists as a sophomore, has a chance to do it again as a senior. Trying to get a bucket here, and knocks that one down. 
to open up the floor, get the ball in the middle of the floor so you can't get help. Terrific job of getting paint touches and being on balance. This is a senior game, I'm going to say it all day. Right now, Marco Johnson and CJ Bryce, they have to be good for NC State to win this game. Thunderbird trying to pull his way inside. He's stopped on that play by White, triggering the break. Jones with a fumble on it, and he batted it out of bounds. It's back over to the Wolfpack. We talked about an outstanding point guard matchup. There are a lot of people talking about Trey Jones as the ACC Player of the Year favorite right now. Nobody has scored more points than he has in the ACC over the last five weeks. Trey Jones has been terrific. And think about it. You need a moment. If you're going to win player of the year, you need a moment. I think that Carolina game was his moment. <laughs> yeah. Now, here's the deal. There's a guy named Vernon Carey on this team. To me, he's the most dominant player in the ACC. But I think the most impactful player in the ACC is Trey Jones. He gets the ball, he destroys the ball, he defends the ball, and he's made big shots. All of you attempt. But a sloppy one and taken away by Jones. He'll pull up and pop and knock it down. A three point. So the Blue Devils start to come alive a little bit. And this is where he's a different role this year. Last year he controlled it right there and found Zion Williams to the lob or kicks the head to RJ Barrett. Now he drives it in transition. If they play his soft, he's going to step up and knock down that jump. Bates went up, the big freshman, but he draws the foul. Hit by Moore, picks up number one. Bates will go to the line. Not something he's terribly fond of. He's only 50%. Watch this play right here. Trey Jones, little hard rhythm dribble, gets himself on balance, knocks down that three. That's the difference in his game. That's the difference in his role this year. His role this year, he has to score with this team. He's got to play downhill. He's got to make plays for himself and for others. Last year, advanced past design anywhere in the universe. And you know what? Odds are they were going to score. And Jones single-handedly outscored North Carolina 18 to 15 over the final minute of the second half of the overtime in that epic victory. Action two here by O'Connell coming off the bench. Delorier will make the pass and right down the lane O'Connell for two. Yeah, right there. Manny Bates has got to cut the weak side rebounder off. Terrific job of rebounding on the weak side back from the back, but that was a poor block. You have the weak side, you cannot get wedged underneath the basket. You gotta cut that guy out off the weak side and then push through the basket. Beverly, tough drive. That one swatted out of the sky. Stanley came over to help defensively. First side drives. You gotta make that drive on the second side of the floor. Jones makes dish and swatted from behind. Helms, the sophomore, got up there. Playing some tough D. A Saturday, this highly anticipated rematch finally happening. Wilder Fury 2 at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific from the MGM Grand in Vegas, live on pay per view and ESPN Plus. Go to the main card, go to ESPNPlus.com slash top rank. Wilder's knocking that dude out. Knocking that dude out. You're By the way, coach. great press conference today. I mean, it was absolutely ridiculous, that press conference today. There was more smack talk in that thing than I've seen in a long time. <laughs> At a very professional level. At a very high level. There was more smack talk there than when back in the day, Jay Will and I would be in the studio <laughs> and we'd be talking to each other. Yeah. Fonz is too nice a guy. He's like the nicest human being he in the world. He is an absolute fit. He makes all of us look bad. Thank you. I'm happy you said that, not me. Right side the spin. The great jumper won't drop. And tipped out the officials looking at each other. It's Mike Eads, John Gaffney, and Brian O'Connell tonight. And it'll stay on this end. Big time crew. These guys love me now. They weren't so fond of me a couple of years ago. No, they came over and all three of them said, are you going to hit anything tonight? Are you going to hit a table? Right here, the table. you got to get the table up there. So, uh, make sure it's there. Because you were really good at doing that. Yeah, that, that was one of my better traits. Right now, NC State is getting sped up by the team. They're packing all on the first side. They finished right there. They've got to move the defense. When you play Duke, they're going to defend every inch of the floor. If you can move them side to side and then attack, you'll get a better shot. Daniels making it 16 to 9. Jones back out for carry. He's going to attack that one. And he does not take many.
many of those threes, and he was hitting 43%. He was 6 for 14. Over the top, and it glances off the iron right back out to Daniels. First side, first side. You got to move the ball. In and out, rebound tipped. Jones running it down. He's got it. Come on, the jumper. Got a good look and a whistle. 10.59 to go here in the first half. Wolfpack leading at 16 to 9. We're calling this our Whimsical Wednesday. You mentioned the early part of your coaching career. You looked a little different back then. We're going to take a fun look back Oh, here. boy. <laughs> For five minutes about all the money you have saved on brushes and combs in your life. What a staggering a amount. Large, a larger wash rag, not as much shampoo. <laughs> Need a little bit more moisturizer for the donut. Wow. Jones slamming on the brakes. Can't drill it. I got Buddy Marr was the head coach of Columbia, one of the all-time great guys. In New England right now, he was an unbelievable coach and absolutely loved the game. And Belton still told him no. <laughs> Tough guy to say no to. Daniels off the window and fell off, but Stanley with a foul. Devin Daniels has 10 points right away. Yeah, right now, I like what State's doing in transition. I like that they're attacking in transition. But what I'd like to do in the half court, when they get in the half court, instead of attacking on the first side, make Duke defend. And I'll tell you the other thing they're doing a great job, State. They're not turning it over. As long as they don't turn it over so that Duke can get out in transition, all right, they're going to be in good shape. Second five minutes, I think they're in pretty good shape right now. Not as good. Shot selection wasn't as good that five-minute period, but Kevin Keats is approaching this game. We're approaching it in five minutes, say. He's approaching it from time, TV timeout to TV timeout. He will literally talk to his team about what they did in that four minutes and what they need to do the next four to get better. And that way you keep the guys in the moment. Four off the glass, and it's tipped up and in by Carey. The player ranked in the ACC's top five in scoring, rebounding, and field goal percentage. The tips like that, he makes 59%. Daniels again to his right. Man, he's a man in this first half. Daniels has been terrific, OB. 14 points to lead all scorers. You know, Joey, it's, it's good to try to keep him on one side of the floor. Almost when they see people say down, that means kind of pushing the ball down to the baseline. Daniels is fighting that and getting to the middle of the floor and using the size. And the call foul here on Goldwire. As Bates tried to get free, he picks up number one. As they trapped him. And talking about those five minute segments. Yeah, that right. NC State wins the second five minutes seven, eight, seven. More importantly, they continue to defend. They're keeping the ball in front. They're doing a pretty good job in defensive transition. And they're making it hard for Vernon Carey to catch it in an early post up to transition. Johnson on the baseline. Daniels around the back. What a save there. Thunderbird down the lane. Lays it in. What a sensational basket. And this crowd is alive in a very big way tonight at TNC. Carey with the touch, wants the paint, and one. He'll be headed to line. Took the contact, and he'll be shooting. Manny Bates with his second foul, but back to that play moments ago. Absolutely terrific save right there. Little French pastry in it. Funderburg going right at Vernon Carey. Vernon Carey knows the best way to guard him is to get him in foul trouble. He goes a little away right at him. He steps out. Funderburg finishes. On the other end, though, he did a great job of early posting at this time. Getting him the ball on the right block. He loves to get to the right block and work his way to the middle. Off the rim, a misfire by Carey. Those five points, five rebounds this far. Johnson long distance, got it, the three. They don't, he only hits 26%, but seems like they're all falling right now for the Wolfpack. That was in the flow of transition, a little drag ball screen, got a little separation, was on balance. Jones, pull up, shy. I like 
Back confidence they're playing with, Seth. I love, I, Dave, I love the early push to kind of compress the defense, and now all of a sudden you can move the defense. Don't settle it. Johnson again. Yes! Another three. 28 to 13. Terry lost it, got it back, laid it in. How good was Vernon Carrick's ability to collect himself, not charge, and finish that play? You know, Markel Johnson reminds me of not the big three, made three point shots, a little rage on Rondo each game. Daniels taking a stumble there, and he stepped on the line. So that's a turnover by NC State. Only their second of the half, however. NC State take care of the ball, attacking on opportunity. What they got to do is do a little bit better job in transition, defend the post. Markel Johnson going to the ball screen. What's he going to do? He's going to make you pay. Johnson with a little shake and a shimmy. Step back. Money. Senior moment. Ranked teams. Last season, 48 the entire year. Four current top 10 teams, not in the preseason poll. Well, you really like San Diego State. San Diego State is the real deal. An elite defensive team. Malachi Flynn is as good as any guard in college basketball. They shoot it, they defend, they don't turn it over, they keep you up the glass. They are final four good. Ellum's got a good look foul on NC State. With 7.20 to go here, have to be impressed by the way the Wolfpack has come out in attack mode, showing no fear against the number six team in the country. No doubt about it. This is a huge game for NC State. Let me tell you something, this is a big game for Duke. Duke's playing for an ACC championship and a potential number one seed. So, Coach K will try to get their attention. It's really important right now for NC State to take care of the basketball, get a good shot, and cut Duke off the glass. Tie up on the play. Possession arrow will keep it on this end. And a foul is called. Delorier with a personal. Hey, the NBA players have a few more days off in the All Star break on a Friday night. A doubleheader in OKC. That's at 8 Eastern, 7 Central. And Zion and the Pelicans are in the Rose City for a battle with the Blazers. Coverage starting with NBA Countdown at 7 Eastern on ESPN. So Daniels goes to the line. After the foul for a one and one. He's building a huge game here. This is a guy who averages 12 points a game. That's his 15th point. He's been really good though the last four games. I mean, he's been terrific out of 15 a game. He's an aggressive offensive player. He's going to attack you. He has a scores mentality. He's going to make plays. By the way, Zion any good? Pretty good. He's pretty good. Oh, right. That's a total lack of attention. I would think that you would see some type of substitution up coming shortly. 31 to 17, NC State. Possession by NC State, keeping the ball in front, forcing a contested shot, keeping the ball out of the lane. A little bit from Roberta Carey's not in the game. Right on the line. Wild shot there by Daniels. Jones hitting the deck again. That rim it's not dropping for Duke so far. Six minutes to go in the half. Oh, wow, off target there by Beverly. NC State's done a terrific job of getting to 50 50s, being first to the floor, but they've got to settle down offensively. You cannot just play on emotion. At some point, you've got to take a step back and say, right, where are we? I'm not saying take the foot off the pedal, attack and transit. But in the half court, move the ball and move the defense and then attack. They'll get a better shot, they'll have better floor balance, and then have a better opportunity to get to the line. Beverly, jump shooter out of Kentucky. And that's going to be an offensive foul on C.J. Bryce. 
who put the head down, and he picks up number two. Duke does a great job of keeping the ball on one side of the floor. When I say down the ball screener, what they're trying to do is you see Trey Jones, he's on his high shoulder. He's not letting the ball get reversed. He's forcing that ball down to the baseline. See, if you keep the ball on one side of the floor, then you can set your defense, and everyone off the ball can get over the help. Really good job right there. That's why Trey Jones is such a good defender. He can keep the sideline and keep it in front. Pretty shot there by Carey, floating into the lane. Give him nine points. 31-19. Johnson. And lots of iron, but it drops away. But Duke can't contain on Stanley. And out of bounds. Been that kind of half. So the next five. Third five minutes. State once again. 11-8. Markel Johnson was absolutely terrific. I really like what State's doing right now to play with tremendous confidence. Coach K already getting 10 guys in the game. I just think about the eight years I played against Duke. I never saw more than seven. We didn't even have more than seven on our scouting report. They've got 10 guys in, and they're all trying to make a difference. He says all 10 won't play great. He just needs the right group eventually to play well. Carey got back, played some tough D with the rejection. Standing with the scoop and one. He'll be headed to the line for a three-point play. In transition. European basket, boom, a little Euro. Usually Cassius Stanley is ready to be a sports center top 10 that time. Showed a little finesse. Fouled by Daniels, so Stanley to the line. He's 74% there. Cassius was held in check by FSU. And Duke's five-point win over the goals. Shut him down to the tune of just nine points. Defensive transition is so important for NC State. They've got to be, when they set their defense, they are really good. Work for the attempt of the catch, but off the hand. And the Blue Devils trying to take advantage. Got to cut into this lead before halftime. Under four minutes to go. Here in Raleigh, good deny D by Johnson. Up against Jones, and right now. Point guard against point guard. That's a KG veteran senior in the pass lane. Paul Bolton to the ball in a stance, anticipating the play and using his body to shield Trey Jones. Delorier bouncing inside. No. Trying for the second one and one. So the foul against the Wolfpack. 3.33 to go in the first half. Duke cutting in 36. Battle between these two teams and, and where NC State is at. I love the way that you're breaking that down. How important is it for them to not be satisfied, obviously, with where they're currently at? I think the most important thing, Sean, right now is to erase that last five minutes. You're 0-0 zero, zero, and do the things you need to do. Take care of the basketball. Have good floor balance. Shot selection is very important. And then defend the post early so Vernon Carey doesn't get any early post ups. Shot clock now down to five. Beverly stumbled in the lane, fired up a wild shot. It did nick the iron. 3.02 to go here in the first half, and foul. We take a look at who is made of more, brought to you by Guinness. NC State on top, 36 to 25. Moore will pick up foul number two. These two, Daniels and Johnson, just flat getting it done. 15 for Daniels. A dozen for Johnson, who averages 13 a game. And Daniels back to the line. Daniels has been really good. I think Kevin Keats has given his guards freedom to play down. He'll get paid touches, be aggressive. He's kind of empowering them. And when you get downhill, eventually they're going to be able to kick out for some open shots. And every time you drive it, you're making Vernon Carey make a decision. 17 for Devin Daniels. been the main story for the Wolfpack. Very well the pass and out it goes with 250 showing. And Duke number three in the country at 83 points a game. 
They've already set a new school record with five 30-point wins in the ACC, but scoring has been a bit of a struggle for them tonight. State's, so far. Take, yeah, State's taking really good care of the basketball. So if you take care of the basketball and you take good shots, you're basically eliminating transition opportunities. And Duke thrives in transition off of their defense. This halftime speech by Coach K will be very interesting. That was a foul. That sounded like Phyllis now. No whistle. Duke only shooting 32%. And another turnover. And it's not like those are piling up outrageously. That's only six. It feels like a lot more than that. It does because these turnovers have been in scoring opportunities. But right now, Coach K not happy with his team. Now, he talked about playing 10 guys and figuring out the guys that are playing the best. And that all 10 guys don't have to play great. But his message right now in the locker room is going to be that effort was unacceptable. They beat us to 50-50 balls. They're getting to the offensive glass. They're getting in the lane. We're not good with the basketball. Here's a perfect example. This will not be received well. Here's a timeout. Coach K wants a timeout. State. Kevin Keats team playing with great energy. You talked about the fact that they're on the bubble. It's Duke in town. It's always going to be a huge game. They have had success on this floor. Recent success. Three recent wins over Duke right here at PNC. This is a competitive team. This is obviously a big game. There's a guy that has to step up, Trey Jones. But you know, to me, like if you're Coach K, you can live with made and missed shots. You can live with maybe a lack of uh, attention to detail in executing in the half court. I'll tell you what you can't live with. You can't live with a lack of effort and getting beat to 50-50 balls. Now Daniels thought he was fouled on the play, but a turnover by the Wolfpack. A Saturday at noon Eastern on ESPN and the ESPN app. Number one Baylor taking on number three Kansas. That's a sonic blockbuster and could help decide the Big 12 title and number one overall seed in the NCAA tournament. Jones lost his footing and a travel as he went skidding. So Say, this is eight turnovers now. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is an interesting thing because I, you can't post the ball to Vernon Carey in half court. But Funderburg's doing a really good job defending him early. But where else does Duke go to to get scoring? So Trey Jones has got to try to make a play. This is the one area I think Duke needs to improve it. Execution in the half court. One minute to go before the break. Beverly. Thunderbird with the shot clock winding down. Tipped his own miss. And had that one slapped away with 53.2 to go. Thunderbird's playing like a grown man. He's getting every loose ball around the basket, and they are trying to get in the ball on rolls, in post-ups, to make Vernon Carey defend. And the game plan for Kevin Keats has been absolutely terrific. And he's going to take a timeout. So a quick one here with NC State on top. 39-27 to over the Duke Blue Devils. Three teams at the ACC and what they have going for them. Offensive, balanced, defensive, Louisville with an important win against Syracuse earlier tonight. Yeah, in, in Louisville's last two losses, they didn't defend the way Chris Mack wants to defend. They got back to what they're doing. But you look at this Florida State team, nine different guys have let them in scoring. To me, they're the most dangerous because on any given night, you don't know who you're game planning for. Patrick Williams, the freshman, is emerging. He's one of the best freshmen in the country, people will talk about. Yep. Louisville, when they defend and they get point guard play, terrific. And then that Duke team, they've been very good offensively, playing through carry, playing in transition. Right now, they are not playing as hard. There's a standard at Duke of how hard you need to play. They're not living up to that standard. He's stuck by Thunderbird as he rolled to the rim. Crowd's been a big factor here, haven't it? And Kevin Keats going two for one right there. He's going to get the last shot. Really good job. Kevin Keats coming out of the timeout. Don't like it too far underneath. On the run. Helen. And he gives it up. 
on the turnover. 27 remaining. Take a look at this play from up this top. This is absolutely terrific. A little side ball screen. Carey levels it off. Terrific roll by Funderburg. No weak side help. You coming up a little hook, lob, bam. But you get the stop you needed, and you would have been able to take advantage of that two for one. You cannot turn it over. Every possession is valuable. Well, Duke trying to make this the final possession of the first half here in Raleigh. Jones ducks under and lays it in. Time to get off a heave here for Johnson. Long distance. He hits it. He hit the shot. Goodness gracious. What a half for NC State. Good awareness. This is the first time this dude's made a big shot. They played UNC Greensboro, and he made the exact same shot to win a game. That will count, and that is the way to go to halftime. Two, two dribbles, you got two dribbles with two seconds. Let it fly. Head with Jones, and maybe some history tonight. Deficit of 15, largest halftime deficit since 2016 for Duke. They've only come back from 15 down at halftime twice in school history. NC State out of the gate, a 10 to 1 lead and never looked back. Never looked back. They were the aggressor. They got every single 50 50 ball. They were alert defensively. And they did a really good job of setting their defense and taking Duke out of transition. First play to half, Coach K always goes inside. They tried to isolate. Right there, Vernon Carey, pretty good job by Bates, walling up. And Carey picks up his first foul. He was four for ten shooting, seven in the first half, and a traveling violation. So I think a lot of these fans are just now getting back into their seats because they stayed up through the half after a very exciting first 20 minutes, and what a way to end it by Johnson. Yeah, Johnson made a big time shot. These first five minutes, so important for NC State. They got to keep it in front. They got to take care of the basketball. They got to limit to to one shot. Carey trying to spin inside. He'll draw the foul. Opening seconds of the second half. NC State on their home floor trying to spring the upset. That personal will go against Manny Bates. That's three on Bates. Yeah, that's three on Bates. Uh, to me, the most important thing is that Funderburg on the floor. Because Funderburg, when he catches it in the block, he has the ability to take the ball offensively and go right at Vernon Carey. Coach K coming out of the halftime, two straight possessions, they go inside. The trademark for Coach K and Duke over the years, and that second half gets started, that's where they have blown so many teams' doors right off. No doubt about it, B.O.B. Look, we've broken this game down into five-minute segments. NC State has dominated the first four. It is important. This is the most important five-minute segment, and they've got to keep it simple. And what I mean by simple, they've got to stay aggressive. They've got to attack and transition off the stops. But in the half court, take care of the ball, dictate the shot, and play downhill. Get paint touches once the ball's reversed. Incidentally, Markel Johnson has the basketball now. Hit that shot from way beyond midcourt, giving off to Bryce here. That is the third time this season. Thunderbird will make it and go to the line. Third time this season that Markel Johnson has hit a shot from midcourt or deeper. And that's exactly a great, great shot right there. But exactly what we said, get ball reversal, play drown hill, attack, don't settle. And when you get triple penetration, what do you get? You have the ability to get angles to get to the offensive play. Three-point play for Thunderbird. Seven points for the 6'10 junior from Cleveland. This is the biggest lead of the night for the Wolfpack. Beyond the three. Well, trying to sling that pass to Carey. It's out of play. Such a good defensive possession there. Taking Duke out of any offensive rhythm. Great job of Funderburg fighting around Carey. Good job of containing the basketball. Goldwire trying to make a hard play. I would agree with you on the defense by NC State. But Duke has been out of sorts all night. They have one assist uh, in the entire game. One assist, that means they're not moving the ball. They're not playing, not playing with great spacing. They're pounding it on the glass too much. Jones in transition. Floater, no. 
Hurt grabs the board. He'll draw the foul. Matthew Hurt to the line. We make 79 percent. And Duke also at the foul line in the first half. The, the gimmies, they made only two of seven. And that's something that you just cannot do if you're going to come in and play on the road and chop into a lead. And, you know, Hurt's an interesting player because he can really shoot the basketball. And here's another missed free throw. But the one thing Duke's missing, if you look at their roster right now, you see who's on the floor. You got Goldwater, you got Jones, you got Hurt. Besides Trey Jones, who's going to go make a play? Who's going to have a little shake to his game and either make a play for himself or someone else? Wow. I mean, that's a guy who makes about 80% at the line. He misses a bolt. And for the game now, they are two for 11. Johnson. Right now, to me, it looks like the wind has been sucked out of this Duke team. Someone needs to step up. No one's bringing their team together, and even the bench. They're observing this game. They're not participating in this game. Shot clock winding down. He got the shot up there, and it'll drop. 17 for Markel Johnson. I mean, someone's got to step up. You see those guys on the bench, those players on the bench? Who's going to put their arms around? Someone's got to empower someone right now for this good team. They are absolutely just sitting and watching the theater. Carry with the slam for 11 points. 49 to 31. NC State on the bubble. They've got Florida State coming up on Saturday. So playing back-to-back, -to -back, top 10 opponents. Knocked away by Carey. I like that possession. He moved the ball side to side. They tried to isolate Carey on the block. Needed to take one dribble, get an angle, and knock that thing out on a little bounce pass away from the defense. Short clock right here. See what NC State does. Ten to get it off. Floor balance key right here because there's going to be a long shot and a long rebound. Johnson hits a three. Woo! Give him a 20-point night. Wolfpack continues to pile on the points. Thunderbird with the theft. Helms down the lane to lay it in. Tell me who saw this coming. Not you and I. Kevin Keith said he was going to free his guys up as long as they competed. They're ready to play. Great defensive game plan. They take care of the basketball. Biggest deficit of the season for Duke. Bird fires. Gets it from three-point land. Well, they've had a great crowd tonight. Late start. Tip-off just after 9 p.m. But they have shown up in a great voice. They've been involved in this game, engaged in this game, but NC State's giving them a reason to be engaged Boy. by how hard they're playing and how well they're playing. Thunderbird. And that's going to drop. The 6'10 junior knocks one down. I'll tell you what, life is good in Raleigh right now. Boy, what isn't falling for them? Jones will draw the foul out of penetration. This basketball loved this rim, didn't it? Big fella, shoot it soft, shoot it soft, get it on the rim. A little shooter's roll. Kawhi Leonard in the house. <laughs> yes. Check, check. All of a sudden now, you've got to manage the next 15 minutes, continue to stay aggressive. But what I see from this NC State team is they've imposed not just their will, but their system. They're attacking in transition. If not, they're attacking the basket. They're eliminating second chance opportunities and eliminating live ball turnovers to give Duke a chance to get out in transition. And they've got guys stepping up and making big plays. We've got a little history going on right here. Well, very possibly 57 to 36. Trey Jones was throwing a little bit of sanity at the line. Makes a couple of the Avengers two for 11 at the strike before that. Johnson trying to work that baseline with a fall away, well short. Out of good possession right there. The ball got stuck in Johnson's hands. Rattles in for Trey Jones, who has a dozen. 
all sorts of time here if Duke can't get on a roll, but they need a hot hand. Yeah, and it's interesting because Trey Jones' role has totally changed. A year ago, he was initiating offense. A year ago, he was advanced passing up the floor. Now, Trey Jones has got to be the guy that's making plays to score. Nice with a miss. Duke at 22 and 3. 12 and 2 in the conference, and again it's Jones. He's putting them on his shoulders. And, and when Trey Jones goes right, he's racking. He goes left, he's going to shoot that pull up. You can't let him get to his right hand. Ellis pounding the deck. Carey just erased that shot. 14 11 to go. First five minutes, most important five minutes. Look right here, 13 9. Now what happens, you know, the next five minutes becomes the most important five minutes with Kevin Keats. If you're compartmentalizing this game like he is doing, right, you've owned the first five minutes. Now the most important thing is don't settle. And what I mean by that is don't settle defensively. Sit in the stance, keep Trey Jones out of the lane. And then at the other end, get a little bit better ball movement. They're going to take a look here over at the monitor and they're watching Vernon Carey. He sent that one sailing. Just looked like a block shot to me. that's more of a, a basketball play. He tried to swoop stroke around Funderburg right there. And I think as he tried to swoop stroke down, which is a foul, I think he caught Funderburg. Look right in the middle of your screen right there. You see Funderburg trying to seal. I think he's just trying to sweep and get through right there. Mike Eads, John Gaffney, and Brian O'Connell huddling here. Meanwhile, it's a six nothing run by Trey Jones by himself for the Blue Devils. Watch right here in the middle of the floor. Freeze it right here. And that right there, that's just a, a slip stroke, which is illegal, trying to fight your way around that low post player. And it's going to be a flagrant one foul. Wow. Which is an absolutely huge call. And you know, I think it was was it excessive? Was it unnecessary? Let, let, let's take a look and really take a look at this play one more time. Close look right here. If you freeze it right, you know what? Above the shoulders. That's a defensive play that Vernon Carey, I'm not sure if it was malicious, but he surely made some type of contact with the face. So it'll be number two on Carey, Funderburk at the line. He makes 76%. Drops in the first to give him 11. And that breaks a 6-0 run by Duke. I'll give you one more look on that play on the flagrant. Right, here's the here's the competition. Watch right there. He, you know, I, he's just trying to swim stroke through there and basically he made contact above the shoulders. Back in the day when Kim Belton was playing and the game was physical, that would be absolutely nothing. Bryce, a lot of dribbling there. Daniels kicks it out. Allen to fire. And Carey with the rebound. Especially in the physical conference of champions. Jones getting it rolling. Little hard to penetrate. Tough shot. Carey went up for the rebound, a foul there against the Wolfpack. With 13.37 to go. Vernon Carey a little physical on that block. I don't know if that's a makeup call, you don't want to say that. But if you look at Carey right here, below the... Right there, he's got a little wedge. That's called a wedge rebound. You split the defensive rebounder in half, you try to get your hips into his lower body, and move him out of the way. Top and a foul, no basket. Stanley thought he had it there, but a foul before the shot. That's really good identification right there. You see Braxton Bentley on Stanley. Stanley, one of the best athletes in the country. Now they just switch, and all of a sudden, now you got Daniels on it. Watch a little screen to screen. Stanley coming off that screen there. Slicing in, short. His follow won't go. And this would appear to be an easy lay-in. 
Very frustrating night so far for Duke. Ellis goes right into Hurt there, who gets the blocking foul. That's his third. The game's lost a little rhythm right now. Sure has. Uh, there's been a lot of fouls. There's no flow to the game. Right now, Duke's trying to get stops. Poor closeout right there by Hurt. Nice job of Helms not settling, but driving the closeout. The, the game needs to get back to some flow. Look at Kevin Keats to try to see, see if he can get this thing reversed. And don't have to. Helms a teardrop. No. Duke has succeeded in getting the crowd out of it a little bit. Going straight on for the three. He has caught fire. He's been absolutely terrific. It, it, you hate to say that he has embraced his new role, but for this new team, he has to score and he has to make plays because they don't have a lot of floor gamers on the floor. What I mean by that is guys that can make plays for others. It has to be him. Getting in close, Thunderbird can't hit it. Or coming out of the pack with it. Duke trying to make a huge comeback tonight. Close in for two. Kevin hey, Keats needs a timeout right now. 13 for Vernon Carey and a timeout. NC State. Here come the Blue Devils. 59 to 45 with 12 and a half minutes to go here in Raleigh. This game, it's going to be Trey Jones attacking, making plays for himself. Terrific job of rhythm dribble, knocking down that three. And then Vernon Carey establishing himself down low, carving out space, targeting away from the defense. Great target, great pass. He collects himself and plays through contact. If Duke's going to get back, get back in this game, Trey Jones and Vernon Carey have got to lead the way. Now Duke's on an 11-2 run. The Wolfpack has missed the last six shots. Daniels has been quiet here in the second half after a huge first half. And he stays that way. Very cold all of a sudden. Carry again on the entry. And he'll head to the line. 15 points and counting for the gifted freshman. Early post up in transition. Carry does a great job of running the floor. Carry right here, establishes himself right at the block. He does a great job of catching, working to the middle, and finishing around the basket. They can't finish off the three-point play, 59-47. On the other end, they turn it over. Ellums could not contain it. Carry again the target. Tried the glass, but misfired. And a reach-in foul, 11.47 to go. We will take the break. Duke. Not only a defensive stopper and playmaker, he needs to be a guy that Duke plays through and playmakes for them to come back in this game. Trey Jones, his role has changed. He can score it, he can score it by defending, he can score it by putting it on the ground, but he can also score it by making the game. Beverly switches into two. They needed that shot, his first bucket. NC State at one point had a 23-point lead in this one. Two moments ago, it cut it to a dozen. Inside carry. They can't stop him. He'll head to the line again. 17 points. And he's getting everything he wants. For Duke to win this game, they've got to play through Vernon Carey. And by playing through Vernon Carey, they eliminate the leading shot blocker in the ACC in Manny Bates. Carey's doing a great job of running the floor, establishing himself, and Duke is doing a terrific job of finding him. He's the most dominant player on the court. Three-point play to cut it to 11. Bates fouling out. He's also bothered by a strange shoulder this some time earlier in the game, so pretty miserable evening for Manny Bates. As we approach 11 minutes to go in Rollin. Thunderbird with it. He had a three-point shot in the closing moments of the first half against Johnson. And denied. He thought he got fouled on the play. No whistle. And Jones will pull up the top. Carey going for the rebound, it glances off him. Vernon Carey, he establishes himself down low, and he absolutely spreads out. Freezing right there. 
Notice his target hand right here. And watch how wide he gets, taking up space, driving the defender up the lane. Really gets those points in bunches. He's coming off 21 points in 23 minutes against Notre Dame. Helen for the shovel. Thunderbird around and out. This is Duke's best defensive lineup when you got Goldwire and Jones on the floor at the same time. It's an athletic defensive line. Moore with the spin, the tip won't drop. Mentioned that Louisville has already won. They won handily over Syracuse before this game tonight. Here's Johnson. Yes, that'll rattle in. That's a three-pointer. NC State to win this game. It's about the senior stepping up and making plays. On the other hand, for Duke to win this game, it's Vernon Carey and Trey Jones playing together and establishing each other. Goldwire, let's fly. No, Stanley came in and poked the rebound out of play. Markel Johnson, five for five for the three, likes the matchup. Let's face it, if you live in Raleigh, North Carolina, and you go to NC State and you're their point guard, you know what you hear about every day? Trey Jones is the best point guard in America. Trey Jones is the best defender in America. And you know what? You hear that enough times, you want to have an opportunity to do your thing. Markel Johnson on this stage, in this moment, in a game that gives them a chance to maybe earn a berth in the NCAA tournament, he is taking this thing over. No, you're right. It's a gigantic game for the Wolfpack. If they win it, and there's a foul with 9.16 to go. Markel, by the way, with 23 points. Five-minute games. This is the first five-minute game that Duke has won, 12-4. How have they done it? They've done it playing through Vernon Carey and Trey Jones attacking in transition and making plays. Delorier with the foul. Johnson averaging 13. They've got a mismatch down low. He fires another one off the front of the iron. That triggers the break for Stanley. Very quickly, and a foul, too. As he rocketed to the other end of the court and picks up a personal to boot. He is so good in transition with space, whether he's playing ahead of the defense on advanced pass, watch his speed, and watch his ability. Bam, right out there. First pass, first dribble out in front of him. Terrific job of playing through contact. And when you go flat, put the ball in Markel Johnson's hands in the middle of the floor with everyone on the baseline, what happens is you're not in good shape for defensive transition. Goldwire with a three. Big rebound by Johnson, who just picked up his first foul a moment ago. He has seven rebounds along with all those points. And Trey Jones hasn't left the court this whole game. They've got to continue to attack and make him defend every possession, but they've got to make good decisions. Johnson with a three. In and out. Thunderbird back up. And a foul as well. DJ Thunderbird. Well, the junior from Cleveland showing up here in the second half. Markel Johnson gets that shot up, and Thunderbird does a good job of getting establishing inside position. It's easier to get to the offensive glass when number one is out of the game. Thunderbird takes advantage of it. Who comes back in the game? Vernon Carey. Look for Duke to play through him on his next possession. O'Connell with a foul. Thunderbird 76%. 67 to 52. Thunderbird with 11 points in the second half. So. Thunderbird is a big body. Advantage disadvantage. Look at the ball movement to Helms. Trying to wiggle inside, but no. O'Connell with a rebound. Jones wants to fire the three. Gets back his own rebound, draws the foul. That'll go against Helms. A Saturday at noon Eastern on ESPN and ESPN app. Number one Baylor taking on number three Kansas. That's a sonic blockbuster. Could help decide the Big 12 title and the number one overall seed in the NCAA tournament. Who do you like? In the NCAA tournament? Kansas Baylor. Oh, Kansas Baylor. You know what this game? Pay heed to all whom enter. Beware of the fog, but the game's not in Kansas, is it? It is not. Well, Baylor, to me, is the toughest team in college basketball. 
They defend, they're physical, they have great trust. I think Baylor wins it all. Thanks for saving me there, DOB. You know, Duke only five out of 17 at the foul line tonight. Like this, Kevin Keith's trying to get to the little set. Duke trying to keep the ball on one side of the floor. Shot clock down to five. Daniels to the paint. Shovels the Thunderbird. Got it! Thunderbird is an absolute member of my own grown man team. He has been absolutely terrific. He's had a great second half. Yeah, he, he's, he's a big target. He, make, he presents himself. That was a terrible possession right there for NC State. Though. In transition, they've got to finish that play. But DJ Funderburg has absolutely been absolutely ter terrific. Dribble penetration, draw a second defender, pocket pass, play through conduct. Funderburg, he's been fundamentally magnificent. And the Duke Blue Devils down by 16. A couple of things really jump out at you, Seth. NC State has not been a very good three-point shooting team this year, but they're seven out of 11 beyond the three-point line tonight. They've been out-rebounded by their opponents this year, but so far they're out-rebounding the Blue Devils by five. And they're two to one, second chance points, 20 to 10. They've got every 50-50 ball around the basket. Part of it is dribble penetration. When you get dribble penetration, you get the get angles and rebound basketball. Daniels driving it hard, and he drops it in. He had only taken one shot in the second half after 18 points in the first half. They're getting him back into the fold. Barry will launch a long one. Standing with a rebound and a second effort for the Blue Devils. Dave, I used to say the hardest playing, toughest team finds a way to win. Right now, with six minutes left, that has been NC State. Well, they were shot out of a cannon in front of this big crowd tonight in the opening tip. Again, they started the game with a 10 to 1 run. This is the first break that Trey Jones has gotten this whole game. Coach K using that timeout. Now going to bring him back in the game to finish this game up. I love the ability to get to the basket for NC State. Their ability to try to play downhill, be aggressive, not something to be a jump shooting team. Carry to the paint, tip going in, and connect, and they boxed him out. He's been on fire in the second half, but so far it has not been enough. 71 to 54, NC State. Markel Johnson, a brightest star for the Wolfpack tonight. Shot clock at 10. Down to five. Flips it up off the iron. The tip is up and good by Funderburg. Funderburg has dominated this game on this end of the floor in the paint. His ability to carve out space and be relentless on the glass. 15 points in the second half. And coming up with a huge defensive play right there. Daniels are going to finish it. He'll draw the foul. You see his hit on the play by Joey Baker. What a half he's had. We take a look at former McDonald's All-Americans. And among them, of course, Vernon Carey Jr. He did not play in that spotlight game because of an ankle injury. Hurt had 16. Moore had 16 minutes. And Wendell Moore had 17 minutes and 13 points. This has not been the best game for some of those guys. It's interesting talking to Coach K before the game. He said, we're not a great team. At times, we can be great. And our goal is to be great for longer periods of time. He said, at times, we have different guys. But our core group, Trey Jones and Vernon Carey, have been consistent. They need someone else to step up. And they haven't had that person step up tonight. Five minutes to go. Carey trying to return that one with that left hand. What a foul with 5-0-1 showing. That personal on Thunderbird will be his fourth. Which means that Kevin Keats has a decision to make. Does he keep him on the floor and try to shorten the game? Maybe change a matchup? 
or does he go smaller? So that's a huge decision he has to make right now. And he's already lost Manny Bates, so they basically down to seven players. Now, what does Duke have to do to get back in this game? So you're going to see Duke now extend their defense. You can see Duke maybe go to some scramble. You're going to see Duke try to pick up the pressure. So NC State, if they're going to, if they're going to handle that, they need good spacing. They need to get the ball reversed. They need to meet their passes. And most importantly, they need to have floor balance. Daniels to the baseline. Nifty fake, couple of those by Bryce, and he banks it in. And a foul. C.J. Bryce has not had a big night, but that's a big shot. That is a big time shot and a patient shot. Terrific job right there, C.J. Bryce on the catch. Watch it, eyes on the rim, shot fake. One guy leaves his feet, shot fake again. Lift the defender and play through contact. Great patience by C.J. Bryce. Stanley with a second foul. Funderburg heading to the bench. And getting a big hand by the Wolfpack faithful. Three point play for CJ Bryce. And the lead balloons again 78 56. Barry up and in. He continues to work 24 points. He's terrific. You've got to defend him before he catches the basketball. If you're going to defend Gordon Carey. If he catches the ball with a foot in the lane, you're, you're going to have a problem. We're getting close to that last five minutes. Right now, Kevin Keats, meet your passes, be strong with the ball, make sure you have good floor balance. Force Duke to play over you, not through you and downhill. Well, the victory would put Louisville back in the lead by half a game in the ACC standings in first place. Another whistle, that with six on the shot clock. Now, D.O.B., think about that. The five minutes prior, Duke won that. But look what happened this last five minutes. NC State 11-6, and let's face it, Thunderbird is absolutely terrific. Getting to the glass, being a big target, playing off of penetration. Tenth team foul. Johnson to the line. Just a 58% foul shooter but then again only 26 percent from three-point land and he has been burying one after another tonight as 25 points Duke big start only, turn for himself yeah, Duke with only six assists when you think about Duke cross basketball you think about the ball moving people moving guys playing for each other right now they are really struggling everything is one on one yep and one and done right there on a miss by Jones yeah that's kind of staggering to see Duke with six assists at this point in the game this is college basketball. This is what it is every single night. It never disappoints. Daniels launching. Got it! He hits a triple. 25 points. He has a new career high. Perry still driving inside for two more and to the foul line. We will take the break. NC State with a big, big lead, 83 to 60, trying to upset the Blue Devils here tonight in Raleigh, North Carolina. Station of College Basketball is brought to you by Wendy's. Try a big bacon classic today. DJ Funderburg, 19 points. Most of those in the second have nine rebounds as well. A terrific game, seven out of 14. Also 25 out of Markel Johnson, 25 out of Devin Daniels. So all sorts of stars for the Wolfpack here this evening. And they've been the aggressive. You see Thunderbird getting to the offensive glass. Why does he get to the offensive glass? Because NC State's been aggressive. And that was their game plan from the beginning, to be aggressive and attack Duke. The Duke loss would drop them to second in the ACC behind Louisville, NC State, likely moving into the first four out According to Joe Lenardi, very much a bubble team, but will you knock off the number six team in the country? This is the start of something right now. When you look back at NC State's resume last year, but they didn't have that marquee win. They had wins. They just didn't have that marquee win. This is that one game. They didn't beat the top of the ACC. Today, they're in position to beat the top of the ACC. And they've got Florida State coming in, the number eight ranked team in the country. 
over the weekend coming up on Saturday foul on Stanley trying to slow up Johnson 242 to go and after our game stick around for Sports Center with Kenny Main and John Anderson an interview with Zion plus the NBA's best and worst first half performances Sports Center next right here on ESPN and the ESPN app Zion's been pretty good he makes up for some mistakes huh no doubt about it. Carey really has been outstanding since halftime. Ian Jones, though, unable to carry the Duke Blue Devils back all the way and cut it down to, what, 10 points or one point? Coach K has talked to us before the game exactly about that. He knows what he's getting out of those two. Johnson will step it in. 28 points for Markel Johnson. And of course that heave, which lit up the building. That's a career high for him right before halftime. Done it three times this season. Thunderbird in the open floor. Two minutes to go. And most of the fans are standing here. PNC Arena Daniels with a floater. Rebound tip and the stop by Thunderbird. Thunderbird. Kind of appropriate, isn't it? Right yes. there, being in the right place, getting to the glass, getting to the penetration, creating a turnover, getting a 50 50 ball. What a, what a night for the Wolfpack here to go to 17 and 9, to go to 8 and 7 in the ACC, coming up a very tough road loss at Boston College, but they redeem themselves here against sixth ranked Duke. This is a program win, and you think about everything this program's been through. Uh, this is a huge win and a statement win for Kevin Keats. I got it, I got it, I got it. Coming up on one minute to play. Fans here in Raleigh tonight have had a wonderful time. It started out so well for the Wolfpack, and they kept that energy as they blitzed Duke on a 10 to 1 run to start it. The last time Duke lost by 20 or more, by the way, was March of 2013 to Louisville. Largest losses in the last 10 years for Duke. It That's does not incredible. happen often, yeah. And just so you know, DOP, this is, will be an official legal court stop. I mean, packed house, beat your rival, a game that could put you in the NCAA tournament, a top 10 team. Totally legal court storm. Daniels, so big in the first half. Trying again for Funderburg. Shot clock will go to zero, 37.8 to go. And they cannot wait as they gather. They can't wait to storm the floor. Now, part of this court storm is you would expect that NC State has security in place to want get create a path for the Duke team to get up the court safely. That is really, really important to have a plan. If you're going to win a game like this, there must be a plan in place to let the visiting team get off the court safely. Certainly hope so. 88-66. NC State easily their biggest win of the season. A gigantic win at this stage of the season for their NCAA tournament hopes. And they can begin the celebration in Raleigh here this evening as they roll over the Duke Blue Devils.